Namaste everyone, my name is Srikant Anger. Welcome to my channel Cardinate, where we give life to education using technology. In this video, we will be talking about the next part and continuing our previous video, and that is going to be the gland. So you can see the gland is named as the part number two, and this is how it looks. Let us go ahead. So in SolidWorks, I have to take a new file, choose part, click OK, make some basic settings by changing the units turning on the visibility of planes. Now we will have to create the gland. Now first the outer geometry I will create it in three parts as extrudes. So first let me go ahead with the bottom most one. I will start with the top plane, go to sketch, create two concentric circles. The diameters need to be 24 and 40. So go here. 24, 42. Come out of the sketch, select the sketch, go to features, click on extrude and create the height which is 40. So go here, 45, enter. Now on this top face, I have to create another sketch. Align it properly. Choose the ellipse just as in previous case. Give the dimensions. This length then 120. And this one then 72. Come out of the sketch. Select the sketch, go to extrude and extrude it for a length of 15. Oh no. Click OK. On top of this, we need another cylindrical part that should be of diameter 50. Let us again go ahead, select this top plane, go to sketch, align it properly, take a circle, start with this point, and choose the diameter as 50. Come out of the sketch, select the sketch, go to features and extrude it by a height of 9. Now you can see the outer body has been designed properly. Now we need to uh, subtract this inner part from it. To do that, I will create a revolution uh, revolve in the front plane. So choose the front plane, go to sketch, align it properly. Now this inner cross section I have to create it only on one side and then I will have to subtract the revolution of it. So I will take line command here, start at this top edge, go straight down for a while, then take left, then down, then I will create a cross line like this and coming to the center. So these, they have to be constrained properly, the vertical and horizontal lines need to be perfect. Now let us give the dimensions. We will need this edge over here. So we will use convert entities option here, click on this edge over here, click on OK. So you can see an edge has been created which is in line with the cylindrical part. This point we need to constrain with this one. So select them both by pressing Ctrl. And here you will get an option to merge them. Now let's give the other dimensions. For dimensions, we will need a center line. So we'll create a center line here temporarily. Choose the dimensions, and these have to be diameters 46. Lower one has to be diameter 24. The height of this has to be 12. And the angle here needs to be 15. You can see the whole part has become black, which means it is completely constrained. Now we have to come out of the sketch, select the sketch 
go to features and choose revolve cut then click ok if the contours are not properly selected it will give an error like this so if they are not selected choose the selected contours over here and click on the sketch once the yellow part appears like this click on the right button you can see that the cut has been created now here you can see that this we need uh, as a round part and not as a pointed edge you can just go ahead and create a fillet over there choose fillet select this edge the radius has to be 12 you can see the part has been created properly go ahead and save it with a new file name 